Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to use OpenAI API using Python. This is something I was going through recently and I found it so interesting that I wanted to share it with you. Now most of you all must have heard of ChatGPT, the super trending AI text generator that generates responses based on user prompts. This technology was developed by a company called as OpenAI and along with ChatGPT, they released a few APIs that are super convenient to use in your code. You can find these models if you search for openai.com slash API slash pricing. Once you're in this page, if you scroll down a bit, you will be able to see a section called as language models. Now this section has a collection of base models that you can directly use in your code. There are currently four options available, which is Ada, Babbage, Curie, and DaVinci. Now, each of these models have slightly better capabilities than the previous one, and depending on these capabilities, prices can also differ. Now, the Ada model, which is the least capable out of these four, has the fastest response time, and DaVinci is the most capable while being the slowest out of all these options. Now, coming to the pricing, you can see that the prices are mentioned per thousand tokens. So, what is tokens? You can think of tokens as words. And like it is mentioned over here, 1000 tokens is approximately 750 words. You will be charged based on how many tokens you use in your program. If you want to look at the differences, then there is a separate page for that too. Over here, you can see the details capabilities and restrictions of each of these models. All these models are developed on the GPT-3 models and the DaVinci model which is the most capable has a max request limit of 4000 tokens and the training data was taken up to June of 2021. The Curie model is slightly less capable than the DaVinci model but it is faster and costs way less than DaVinci. It has a max limit of 2048 tokens and you can also see that it was trained only until October of 2019. The Babbage model is another option which is capable of straightforward tasks and is very fast while giving your answers at a fraction of the cost. And the Ada model is super fast while being restricted to very simple tasks. Now, just because the capabilities differ doesn't really mean that the ADA is worse than DaVinci. It all depends on your use case. If your use case is very simple and straightforward, you would be better off using ADA or Babbage. And if you have some complex mathematical tasks, then you can use a text generator like DaVinci. While using these models in code, you will also have to insert some parameters. Based on this parameter, the prices can also heavily differ. To use the OpenAI APIs, you will first need to head over to openai.com. Once you are in here, you will find an option called as API on the top. Click on that and then log in to your account. If you don't have an account yet, then I highly recommend that you make one. Now, once you log in to OpenAI, you will find yourself in a web page similar to this. What you need to do right now is head over to your account and then click on view API keys. Once you're here, click on this button that says create new secret key. Once this key has been generated, make sure that you copy this key. Let's just name this key as openai.api key. Now before we execute this code, we will need to install a library called as openai. So let's just do that by using the pip command. As you can see, I have already installed OpenAI in my system. But if you haven't already, then this command will install OpenAI library in your system. Once that is done, you can get rid of that cell and import the OpenAI library into your code. Now let's run this. Yes, your key needs to be passed as a string. Now let's run it again. And you can see that it has executed successfully. Now let's define a simple prompt. We'll say, 
variable prompt is equal to and then a message let me just type hi how are you today now this will be our prompt now that we have access to OpenAI and we have defined a prompt the only thing left is to generate a response now to generate the response let's start by typing variable response equal to OpenAI dot completion dot create now this is the function that you use to generate responses inside the create method we will start defining our parameters the first parameter that we are going to define is the type of engine that we will use so you can just type engine equal to and then you can specify the model that you will use if you want the details of the models you will find it over here these are the models that you can use in your code. Let's first start with the ADA model. The next parameter that you will need to specify is your prompt. This parameter will be passed to your model to generate a response. Since tokens are expensive, it's best practice to set a max limit to your tokens. You can do this by typing the max tokens parameter and setting a value for it. Let me just set it to 50. And one more interesting parameter is the number of responses that you want to generate. So we can set it as n equal to 1. This will tell the model to generate only one response. Another interesting parameter is the temperature parameter. This parameter will tell the model how flexible it can be with the response. This value can be anywhere between 0 and 1. A temperature of 1 will make the generated response quite formal while a value of 0.1 will keep the response extremely creative. Keep in mind that lesser temperatures can also make your responses factually incorrect. And when I say 1, it will show 1. When I say 0, it will show 0. And then 0.1. For now, let's keep the temperature value at 0.5. With this, we have generated the response. To view this response, you will just need to write one more line of code. This can be done by using the print function and then typing response.choices. Now, choices is a list of generated response. Since we have set n as 1, we'll be getting only one output. So our response's choice index is 0. We also need to see the text format of the response. So we type dot text at the end. Once we execute this code, you can see that our model has generated a response. You can also change the model or the number of responses if you don't find the answer satisfactory. And now you can see that our response is more friendly. So guys, this is how we use OpenAI API in Python. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you have any questions, do mention them down in the comment section. I will make sure to give you more interesting content like this in the future. So until then, happy learning.